Hey YouTube, at least I've got a one audience member that I know of. He doesn't subscribe to my channel, but he's uh, somewhat friendly. He was chirping at me a second ago, but I guess he's uh, figured out I'm not a bear. Although I might look like one, maybe. Maybe it's the sunglasses I'm wearing. Uh, anyway, we had a massive storm here last night. This uh, supposed to be fake dry riverbed was not dry. Uh, it broke out of its uh, um, boundaries and into the sidewalk and uh, we had still have power out in some places around the city. Massive wind, hail, a tremendous amount of rain, lots of flash flooding and uh, my garden took a pretty big uh, pounding. Um, all of my lettuce here uh, is officially gone except that one plant and it's not going to survive the day, I'm sure. Um, you can tell which way the wind and the rain and the hail was coming down by looking at those onions. And by looking at these, uh, all of my plants over here, or just about all of them, were turned over on their side. Um, these two tomato plants that I'm really proud of took the worst beating. They were completely dumped out and as was that fig tree. Uh, I replanted them, packed them back in and uh, a, a bunch of these were all laying on their side as well. Uh, when I got home last night I got stuck on one of the highways for about an hour and a half uh, because of flash flooding. Um, and, uh, but this was definitely the worst over here. Um, this orange tree that I had mentioned was double blooming. Uh, this one already set all of its fruit, but this one had a small fruit set and then double bloomed. Um, it completely f fell and went in this direction. And you can see over here on the ground all the orange blossoms that were knocked off. Um, and basically everything over here uh, that's a small pot of some kind uh, was laying on the ground. All of these tumped over uh, except for those peppers right there. Uh, everything was on its side um, and it's pr probably um, in the next two days I'll probably see uh, some pretty bad, um, I mean, that's dried dirt on here. <laughs> so I, I'm probably going to see some pretty negative results from this. Uh, I did the best I could, scooped everything up and replanted it, but I don't have, I don't, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this stuff. And I finally got one strawberry plant to put on a couple of strawberries and it got completely dumped so I don't know what's going to happen here uh, it's irritating but you know uh, imagine if I was a farmer oh, sorry about that imagine if I was a farmer and this was uh, what I depended on not only to eat but to uh, make a living um, pretty bad so, um, all you homesteaders and farmers, I feel your pain. Um, did have a couple of, uh, things that were not terribly bad. Um, this is my first, um, first tomato off of this vine that, uh, I'll be able to eat. I'm probably going to leave it on there another day, maybe. Um, and then I've got a bunch of them behind it, so uh, that's the Park Swapper variety. But I wanted to show you something. I have not been able to find these guys, and I found them today. I don't know if it's the weather that made them come out from where they've been hiding, but I want you to look right there. That, I'm sure, is what has been eating a lot of my plants, especially my, my potato plants. 
uh, these guys right here. Um, he's not going to like me messing with him. I hope it's, this isn't one of the kinds that can uh, sting. Um, and then I found another one that I'll show you in just a second that is really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, I usually kill them, but since I'm making a video, I'm not going to kill them. Look at that guy right there. I'm sure somebody can tell me what, what kind of butterfly this is going to turn into. Um, might be a swallowtail of some kind. And he's been out here. Um, he's been out here for a while, I guess, drying off. Um, I don't think these can sting. But, um, really pretty. But, uh, regardless, took a pretty bad hit here last night. Um, and I've shot this video now four or five times and I've had to stop because I have a neighbor that's moving in and out and um, getting in her way. But this is a five gallon bucket from Lowe's and I have probably two and a half gallons of water in it. That's what happened last night. Um, so we uh, we got a lot of rain, and you can see that that container full of onions has got so much water in it. It's actually um, because this one doesn't get rained on directly, so I don't have uh, drain holes in the bottom of it. So you can see the water still standing there. Oh, anyway. Um, that's it, I guess. And uh, I'll let you know uh, next week if I lose anything or if, if uh, the storms damage something so bad that they, uh, they can't recover. All right, everyone have a good Sunday. Hope everybody made it to church. And uh, we'll talk to you later.